The inspection starts with a request for a quality control created by an Amazon seller and an FBA help IT system. After the inspector is assigned for the job, he receives all the necessary info about the coming inspection in his account in the same system. Name of goods, number of items in the batch, the supplier's contact details, confirmed date and time of the quality check, supplier's address and the comments given by the company which ordered the inspection. The inspector then starts to make his way to the factory. Planning the route with the taxi driver. On the way to the factory, the inspector once again goes through the guidelines for the coming quality check. Good morning, Glenn. We're on the way to the factory and we'll be there in about 20 minutes. The customer is informed that the online inspection will start in accordance with the pre-arranged schedule. Yes, I'll be on the factory in 10 minutes. That's good. That's good. Thank you. What's in there? Okay, with the point you're talking about, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have arrived and here is the supplier meeting us. That's Dan. Finally, the inspector arrives to the factory. The factory location is sent to the customer. So today we're checking the goods on the umbrella factories. You can see this floor is uh, well, it's basically the manufacturing floor. You can see you know, the manufacturing facilities here. Um, I would not call them fully automated. All the video information from the manufacturing department is unicasted to the customer. And these are the goods we are going to inspect. We have totally 13 boxes and this guy is helping us uh, to carry them and to open them. Okay, to start with, I will take one product and I will have a very, very careful look at it. So I'm going to open it, send all the videos, make a lot of pictures, use it, operate it. Because first of all, I need to be sure that I'm well aware of what this product is about. And after that, only after that, I can, uh, I can check many items and try to find for the defects. The course of this detailed checkup of the first item is immediately sent to the customer. Okay, here we are. All boxes are opened. We have totally 13 boxes and we're going to pick up four items from each box. And uh, the way we pick it up is we're going to do it randomly from different places of the box. From this side, this side, somewhere in the middle and down. So we just want to make sure we do it from different places of each box. So to make sure it's really a random check. We organized a small check quality check conveyor. So here is the Dan helping us to unpack the items. Here happens the quality check, the quality control itself, and this guy is helping us to pack everything back. Thank you. The inspector carefully examines the picked up items. In case if any defect turns up, the info is sent to the customer for consideration and taking a decision straight away. Soon within an inspection, a defect is found. Yes, apparently the cap went off together with this plastic bag. Let's, let's have a look further. Let's go deeper into this. Come oh. on.
Then you hurt the player. Eventually, the factory fixes the defect on the item and packs it back. This is the way we check it. So put it out, uh, unpack it. So we check first. We check this. So the holder, the two, the two of this. Visually, rub a little bit, but it's, it's usually no problem here. So open here, open here. So we check this item very carefully because one problem, one unit had a problem. None of the none of the other have. So we open it. Check a couple of codes. Um, visually, visually like this. And I close. The quality checkup process continues for a few more hours with all the info about the course of the inspection being transmitted from the factory to the Amazon FBA seller's mobile phone. It turned out that the items are individually packed into a plastic bag with no suffocation warning or the breathing holes on it. Since the goods are destined to be sold on Amazon, the inspector has to explain to the supplier that plastic bags of certain sizes require the suffocation warning to be placed on them in order to be sold legally on the platform and in order to prevent Amazon from blocking the customer's listing. Okay, here we go. We have performed the quality check of 50 items and now these items are being packed back as you can see, we have found two minor defects. There was some dirt on the inner part of the umbrella. Uh -huh. Also, this um, the button here on item on Go one on. item was actually we'll going off because of the quality of the glue. We fixed this, and uh, that's why now we can uh, we can switch to cottons and to the dimensions and to the weight of the cottons. We'll also have a look at the quality of this cotton. We want to make sure it has enough layers, and we'll have all the information, all the full information for the logistic company to deliver. Okay, we figured out there's no made in China sign on the cotton boxes. That is very important for the logistic company to have these signs because uh, if, the, if they're not here, if these stickers, we're going to stick them now. If they're not here, uh, the logistic company might have a problem with custom clearance or the goods might be delayed in the customs. So, yeah. The weight as the primary factor of the shipping cost is carefully measured and sent to the customer. Okay, now we're going to measure the dimension of the box. To measure it correctly, we need to put it close, close to the wall or something that can replace the wall. Because we need to measure the widest, the widest part of it. So not just like this, we need to make sure we measure it like this because in case if the volume weight is chargeable weight for the logistic company, uh, they measure the widest part of the box. So that's why we measure it in, uh, within these within this rules and regulations. The information about the volume and the physical weight of the shipment together with the defect rate for each defect found will later on become a part of a written report in a customer's FBA Help online account. Okay, we're not leaving the factory until we make sure that everything is packed back and all the boxes are done, uh, are glued and are sticked and are marked in accordance with the necessary standards. So now this, this process is coming to an end. The inspection has come to its end and the shipment is ready to be sent. When the process is over, the inspector in his online account fills out all the info about the defect rates and all the vital information for the logistic company to handle the shipment.